<laughs> well, gee willikers. You guys are swell. Swell bunch of people, you know that? Alright, Freya, let's go set up a tent. Let's go find a decent place. soon. Whoa. Um. I want to find a place, but we're slow. We're on the side of a mountain right now. I'll just run past the spiders. Need to get to some sort of level of ground before I can... This, this might do. What's on the road? Ah. You don't make camp on a road. Bad idea. make camp here? Yeah, why not? This seems like a nice nice place to set up camp. You okay? Good. Let's see. Where actually can we set up camp? We do need a, kind of a level area. Well, gee whiz. This is too... This'll work. Alright. Survival skills. I want to build a campfire. There we go. No, 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 no. Cancel placement. Build the campfire. Come on. You were perfect just a second ago. No! No! Yeah, that'll work. No. You did it again! Every time I go to press the button, you switch. You jerk. No. Good enough. Stop it! Alright, hang on. Okay, got it set up, mostly. It's kind of, you know, hiding a lot of it <laughs> under the rocks, but, uh, you know, it's got a great view. Can't deny that. Um, so let's go ahead and, uh, read. Do I have any books? Might actually need to get some books from Allie. Ali. Oh, no, get off. Get off. Ali. 
What books do you have? What do we want to read to Freya tonight? Not my journal, not yet. Um, how about, um, The Great War? Sure. So pretty. Let's get out of the rain, though. Uh, since I can't actually sit on my bed, I'm having to actually manually sit, which is making the tent not transparent, so we're just going to do it like this. You going to sit down, Freya? Now you're going to just wander outside? Can't read to you if you're not in here, you know. Crazy girl. All right. Let's read, shall we? A Concise Account of the Great War Between the Empire and the Aldmeri Dominion by Legate Justinius Quintinius. This might actually take a few nights to read. Author's note. Much of what is written in this book is pieced together from documents captured from the enemy during the war, interrogations of prisoners, and eyewitness accounts from surviving soldiers and Imperial officers. I myself commanded the 10th Legion of Hammerfell and Cyrodiil until I was wounded in 175 during the assault on the Imperial City. That said, the full truth of some events may never be known. I have done my best to fill the gaps with educated conjectures based on my experiences as well as my hard-earned knowledge of the enemy. The Rise of the Thalmor Although it is not well known, Somerset Isles suffered from the Oblivion Crisis as much as Cyrodiil did. The elves made war upon the Oblivion invaders, occasionally even crossing over to close down Oblivion Gates. As a nation, they had more success than Cyrodiil did, although the limitless Daedra hordes made the outcome a foregone conclusion. The Thalmor had always been a powerful faction within Somerset Isle, but had also always been a minority voice. During the crisis, the Crystal Tower was forced to give the Thalmor greater power and authority. Their efforts almost certainly saved Somerset Isle from being overrun. They capitalized on their success to seize total control in the Fourth Era 22. And just so everyone knows, the Fourth Era started uh, at the end of the game Oblivion, so 22 years after Oblivion. They renamed the nation Alinor, which harkens back to the earlier age before the ascendancy of man. Most people outside the Elmeri Dominion still call it Somerset Isle, either out of peevishness or ignorance. In 4th Era 29, the government of Valenwood was overthrown by the Thalmor collaborators and a union with Elinor proclaimed. It appears that the Thalmor agents had formed close ties to certain Bosmir factions even before the Oblivion Crisis. The Empire and its Bosmir allies, caught completely off guard, were quickly defeated by that much better prepared Altmer forces that invaded Valenwood on the heels of the coup. Thus was the Altmeri Dominion reborn. So, because um, there were some people asking, didn't the Bosmir become allies with the Thalmor, so why would Sweeper hate the Thalmor? No, 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 no. They were allies of the Thalmor after the Thalmor conquered them. So, Squeeper has plenty of reasons not to like the Thalmor. Does he have a strong attachment to home, to Valenwood? Not strong, but it was his home, so he still does have a soft spot for it, you know? Um, shortly afterward, the Almeri Dominion severed all contact with the Empire. For 70 years, they were silent. Most scholars believe there was some sort of internal strife in Alinur, but very little is known of the factional struggles that went on inside the Dominion while the Thalmor consolidated its power in Somerset and Valenwood. In the Fourth Era 98, the two moons, Masser and Secunda, vanished. With most of the, within most of the Empire, this was viewed with trepidation and fear. In else, elsewhere, it was far worse. Culturally, the moons are much more influential to the Khajiit. After two years of the Void Knights, the moons returned. The Thalmor announced they had restored the moons using previously unknown dawn magics, but it was unclear if they truly restored the moons or just took advantage of foreknowledge they, that they would return. Regardless of the truth of the matter, the Khajiit credited the Thalmor with, as their saviors. Within 15 years, imperial influence over elsewhere had so diminished that the Empire was unable to respond effectively to the Coup of the 4th edition, 4th uh, era, 115, which dissolved the elsewhere confederacy and rec recreated the ancient kingdoms of Aniquina and Pelatine. 
as client states of the Altmeri Dominion. Once more, the Empire failed to stop the advance of the Thalmor power. When Titus Mede II ascended the throne in 4th era 168, he inherited a weakened empire. The glory days of the Septims were a distant memory. Valenwood and elsewhere were gone, ceded to the Thalmor enemy. Blackmarsh had been lost to imperial rule since the aftermath of the Oblivion Crisis. Morrowind had never recovered fully from the eruption of Mount Verdenfell. Verden, Verden, Verden Hammerfell was plagued by infighting between crowns and forebearers. Only High Rock, Cyrodiil, and Skyrim remained prosperous and peaceful. The Emperor Titus Mede had only a few short years to consolidate his rule before his leadership was put to the ultimate test. We'll stop there and then we'll uh, pick it up next time we camp. Okay? Okay. So, with that, I think we're going to get some sleep and uh, start out fresh and early in the morning. How's that sound, Freya? Yep. I think that's a grand idea. So, let's uh, see you guys in a second. Okay, so, had a good sleep. I hope. Uh, hi. <laughs> let's go ahead and pack up. Hey, how do we, uh-oh, this could be a problem. How do we pack up? Uh oh. Might have slight problem packing up. No, Frey, don't sit don't sit down. We need to pack up. Destroy campfire. I did not consider this option. This is a problem. Ah, oh, you know what? I know what to do. TCL. No, wait. Is it TLC? No. It's TCL, right? TCL is no clip, I thought. Um, hang on. Okay, I finally got the tent packed up. I had to do no collision, uh, which was the right code. It just wasn't working. I had to restart the game for some reason. So I got it all packed up. And, uh, yeah, let's hope that that guy is not a problem. Or that guy. There was one over there, too, somewhere. Yeah, there he is. Let's hope they're not problems. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, um, well, we're close to Darkwater Crossing, so let's just keep on going. What we'll do is um, we have to go back to that final temple anyway. And uh, when we do, we'll pass near Riften and we'll drop uh, whatever he has to give back off. Please don't attack me. God, two dragons. That's exactly what I need. I thought I had a mod. Dragons are supposed to be rarer less common. They're everywhere. I don't like this at all. Dragons lose their sense of specialness when they're just every five feet. And what's with my water? There you go. Crap. Just run for it. I might need to look into a new dragon mod. I have a dragon mod I forget what it's called. Dragon Overhaul, something like that. It's supposed to make dragons much tougher, and it does. It does make them tougher. Uh-huh. You guys better run. Um, but I, I need something that really makes them rare. I want to run into a dragon once every, you know, five or six hours, not once every five or six minutes. It's just ridiculous. Right. Um, what? Ow! Yes, because of fire arrow. That's going to do it, Squee. That's definitely going to show him who's boss. Yeah. 
Oops. Come here. Where's he going? Where's he going? Where'd he go? Weird. By the way, convenient horses. Uh, my horses aren't attacking. Um, they should be. Oh, I think it's on main. Yeah, neutral. Game default. Horses become valid targets for aggressive actors that might participate in combat. Yeah, that's what I want. It seems like it's on the other one. Oh, well, whatever. Not important right now. Oh, wow. What is that? Is that a bear? It is a bear. Not a person, actually. Where is it? Freya, is that you? That is probably you, isn't it? Freya! What is... What the... Why am I moving all weird? Oh, jeez. Careful, Freya. Come here. Get your hands off her. Ah. Where's my, uh, staff of lightning? Come here. What the? Now's what it's attacking us. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Allie! Careful, Allie! Oh yeah? I can do that too, you know. Where is my, uh... Where is Elemental Fury? Ouchie. Oh my god, what the- what happened? Oh my gosh, he like threw out some sort of like super weapon or something. Oh man, I don't even know where it's gonna load me from. Oh. It's probably gonna load me back from... Oh, I don't know. Yeah, that's what I thought. Darn it. I go pack up my tent. <laughs> this is what I had to do to pack up. Done. Whee! Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Um, let's put my tent up. Oh yeah, and let's go ahead and uh, re-equip my... Alright. Oh, whoops, I forgot to tell Freya we're leaving. Freya. We are leaving. Let's go. Okay. Was I talking about something before I got into this mess? Oh, I was, I think I was saying that, um, 
we're gonna have to go back to that original temple anyway, I believe. So we'll wait until there to deliver back <clears throat> the letters or whatnot. And that dragon's still gonna be there. We're still gonna have to fight it. Ah. <sighs> 